Hello, this is Vance, and this is Tuesday, January the 9th, 2018. And these are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Well, it was, uh, we had some pretty good movement over the last uh, few sessions, and price has broken and stayed quite a bit above $60 a uh, barrel. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. This is a kickoff for the new year. Had a been battling a bit of a muscle, uh, a little bit of a problem here, health problem. I've got a, a compressed nerve in my neck. Uh, got like on an old sports injury, I suppose, but uh, it's causing some uh, tingling and feeling. So I've been back and forth to the doctor. In fact, I have to go. I've got a scheduled MRI to check some stuff out. So it's because it's causing me some uh, numbness in my hand and it makes it difficult for me to sit for any period of time. So just kind of came on all of a sudden. I've been battling this for the next, for the last three weeks or so, four weeks, just before uh, the holidays. And uh, it comes and goes. It's been getting worse and then gets better and gets worse, gets better. So they got me, I mean, all these, I've taken all these drugs, these uh, nerve pain things and, and the rest of it. So I'm under a little bit of therapy and physio and that kind of stuff. So that's why I really haven't been around 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 very much and it makes it a little painful to sit for any extended length of time so I have to walk around quite a bit and so it's been uh, kind of hampering and I figured it, the, the over the holidays would be a good opportunity to kind of take a break hopefully it's going to get a little bit better it isn't yet but uh, uh, but it is uh, I shouldn't say it's not better it's better than it was a couple of weeks ago but uh, it's still uh, uh, hopefully they can figure out what's what uh, uh, the challenges are hope I don't need surgery which is Kind of, frankly, possibly, but that's beside the point. So let's talk about the trades. Let's talk about what's, what was going on overnight. You can see this really big run up as far as pricing is concerned. Sixty-two uh, over sixty-two fifty-five. Um, and we'll talk about that. We had a pretty good run up today. Um, this is the overnight. This is where price is open. This is nine o'clock right here, and you can see price is spiked up. It broke through this area because this is where I originally had the the previous high through this area. Price moved up to here which is corresponding to kind of this hesitation point from the left side of the chart. And then prices turned down and went into this fairly tight, less than 15 tick range for going on to uh, almost an hour. So you can see that price couldn't get down to this area. And because of that, I was looking at this as looked like support to me right in this area. So looking long, I was looking long on this one and uh, was fortunate enough to get in and got a, a pretty good move out. Now, later on, um, later on afterwards, uh, uh, toward the end of the day, prices kept moving up much, much higher. So let's take a look at that. Um, you can see that uh, not only did it right around uh, 12 o'clock, we had this bit of a pullback. Prices went into a range and then even went, went higher than that. So we went, up, went over $63 today. So you can even say that this was really kind of it was a measured move. Prices moved up to this area, pulled back. First pullback, at least a second, almost to like a third again into this range, and then the continuation didn't quite get to the top of this, but certainly was uh, it pushed up pretty pretty hell, uh, pretty high. So you can see that this was uh, uh, it, a fairly healthy move all the way around. Um, so uh, that's it as far as the trades were. That's what are the trades. So anytime you got in here, you had to look at down here, and once you get in this. Uh, can you get in? Um, you know, this was be an area. Let me just kind of mark that off. An area of uh, of interest. You know, price gets to this area. You want to see how prices respond here. Kind of blew through that. Uh, we had a bit of a pullback, so you can see this is a second entry long here. Didn't quite get to this point. When you have, you're, you're probably expecting a, maybe a bit of recovery, but when you have this sideways action like this, you want to see if you can get that the 15 ticks, uh, your 15 tick target um, prior to this high right here. So something like this one near this one, as long as your stop is below these areas, you'd probably all right. Maybe not the first one, but maybe the second one or even the third, and then anticipate where prices are going to head from there because I was I, I would think that there would be another move especially with this strong move here and you know a movement up didn't as I said it didn't quite get to this this area right to here but certainly it was a a pretty decent move um it had you get in on on, on those trades so I mean 
You also look at the fact that, uh, you know, the time of the day, you know, this is where uh, uh, when Asia closes, where Europe closes, and then see see where prices uh, go uh, from there. So we had a pretty pretty strong, healthy day. Uh, I recorded it. I got in on this trade. And I got this on this one right here, uh, this area. So I had recorded that. Uh, I'll show that in the back end. And uh, that's pretty much it. So really quick, I'll be doing more uh, stuff going forward. Hopefully over the next uh, few days and uh, uh, see uh, what I'm uh, going to uh, uh, see if I can get help any individuals if you have any questions and so forth. Have a lot of interest. Lots of people have kind of contacted me and I've been kind of, like I said, over the course of the last few weeks, I've been kind of taking a real low profile, particularly with my, before that was my tooth. Now it's my shoulder or my uh, uh, my neck um, having problems. They call it... Uh, Degenerating degenerative disc disease. That's what they. That's the form DDD. So that's what they say that I have. Um, I don't know, probably some. Like I said, some old sports injuries or you know just uh, signs of old age. But uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, just let me know. See what you want to do. I'll uh, try to put some stuff together over this week and maybe do a little few live, few live trades and maybe discuss some uh, that going forward over the course of the next few days. Um, interesting to see what will happen tomorrow, especially when it, this is the uh, right this big move up at 430 was the API report came out with a fairly significant drawdown. If that carries forward to tomorrow, uh, we'll see at 1030 when they have the uh, report, see what prices uh, do for that. And I'm very interested to see what the overnight is going to be. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll do a, a quick uh, pre-market uh, update and see, get, maybe lay out the day or see what I'm going to, what I think or my thoughts are for that standpoint and then go from there. So that's it for now. This is Vance. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Okay, this was the first trade. As you can see that... Uh, this was just at uh, uh, just before nine o'clock, I guess, somewhere in that neighborhood. Let me think. Yeah, it was just before nine o'clock. Um, you can see that uh, I put on three contracts here. You can see where my low is. The uh, I had uh, uh, it wasn't quite near the bottom. I mean, it wasn't uh, below that area, and it took a little while to work it work its way out. But the reason I, 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 I put this trade on here is because you can see this down. Then uh, price had pulled down, and it was just before the open. I was expecting prices to kind of rebound and get at least to this top of which uh, I, I saw. And you can see that uh, right now we're hesitating. Price is uh, really sideways. Uh, at this juncture, I was expecting this with this bar here, price is going to pop up, but it didn't happen until uh, until nine o'clock. We had to wait for the open, so it was really kind of like an opening play more than anything else. And once it opens, price is, uh, really takes off. It pulls back a little bit, and then uh, uh, just before nine o'clock, and then from there it kind of pops up. And that was just at nine o'clock. You see, I had to get my first contract off. And in fact, what had happened is that after the first, it took a little while for it to work out to get the first contract off. And then from there, before I even uh, uh, realized to move up my, uh, my other two contracts to 10 ticks, um, it uh, popped up and then took up my second contract. Uh, so that was, uh, it, it happened very rapidly. And so what I did was I just went ahead and uh, uh, from there I, I moved up. Uh, I was waiting for it to get the second. I wasn't. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention or just wasn't cognizant of the fact that it took me a while to realize that uh, my I had moved my my last contract up to trail the stop, and uh, I finally did move it up uh, when I realized that it would that I wasn't on the ball because I was just uh, I guess you call it a little stunned that the, uh, the price had gone up so quickly. So once that happened, I uh, went ahead and. Uh, uh, moved it up and it didn't get to the full uh, get my full 45 ticks it came back so you can see this is I, there I changed it I pulled it uh, pulled my price up and I pulled my target down because it was kind of hesitating there I didn't know if it was going to rotate back up and as it was it didn't it came back and it took my uh, took my uh, uh, contract out and that was it for that trade so Okay, uh, this was the, uh, the second trade. I didn't get it right from the beginning. I hadn't started my recorder. 
hadn't really noticed it. So I took my, my first contracts going up, and then I started up my recorder after that. And uh, But as you can see, the reason I got into this trade, you can see I was talking about that just before uh, where price had come down. It was kind of moving sideways. This is from about 9, I guess it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 9, uh, about 10 o'clock almost to 11 o'clock, and this is where I got in. Now, the reason I got in on this trade um, down here was I expected prices at least to get to this top, this 15 ticks, which it did, and um, and then perhaps move a little bit higher. But this is before that big long move took place, and so I was just sitting here with that trade at, at two ticks uh, or at uh, with the, the uh, my two contracts uh, trailing it. And... You never really know what's going to occur. I mean, I didn't know that price was going to go up that high and show that much strength. I did know that on the basis of the fact that I thought maybe we'd retest where the previous high was, and so uh, so that's why I'm even moving my contract my uh, contract up a little bit because I'm thinking that maybe it's going to. Head is hesitate you know, because to the left of the chart you can see that area of of uh, capitulation, perhaps turning back down. Didn't want to give all of it back, um, so I just moved my contract up, kind of held on to it right here, and very shortly, uh, in a little while, it really kind of bumps up uh, pretty uh, dramatically. You'll just wait and see here. You can see that uh, once the push occurs. Uh, it uh, kind of gets really picks up some momentum. Buyers start coming into the market, and it really drives price up there uh, pretty rapidly once it uh, uh, gets over this initial hesitation. See, it just kind of pops right up, takes out my second contract, um, and then uh, and then from there it exhibited a little bit more hesitation. But I was just sitting on it, waiting it for it for it to occur. You can see that uh, the resistance to the left hand of the left from the left hand side where the previous highs were, that uh, would cause the uh, uh, it showed that it wasn't really quite, quite moving up at that point in time. So I just kind of hung with it, just waited for it to uh, see if it can stretch its legs a little bit. Uh, here I moved my, uh, you can see that I moved up uh, just trailing that stop a little bit. Again, you don't know where the price is going to go. It could come, turn down. Maybe we're just stuck in this range. Um, after a, a relatively healthy move, you know, 30, 30 ticks up. And, you know, historically, prices moved roughly 30 ticks. I extended the uh, resistance and from there it kind of moved up. And again, uh, I was waiting to see if it didn't quite get the 45 ticks. Um, at the, uh, for the first move, and of course, if I was w thinking that maybe it's going to turn down, maybe that little last, a uh, little bite or the last little uh, jump, it's not going to occur. And uh, well, the fact of the matter is that it did come back, uh, come back, hesitate, took it out, and then, uh, of course, price went up another buck after that. Uh, but uh, I was happy with what transpired over the course of uh, uh, the trades that I was in on. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. And you can see that price is taken up. So that's it for now. So thanks for watching. This is Vance. Bye for now.